And we're live now. Don't, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. How we doing, everybody? We are live. Just turning on uh, the television in the background. We just got tagged in a post. Guaranteed it's somebody saying, oh, you're late. I'm sorry about that. Get some background music on. How we doing, everybody? Good, you. Um, yes, we're good. We currently have zero people watching. We get the music. Sign of the times, Pat. Sign of the times. It's oh, John O'Malley. You're low. Down a little. He's in. What's the crack, lads? In case he's in. Hey, guys. Uh, how are we doing? Sort my seat a little bit. Get a bit more comfy. Get the mic a little bit closer. Ooh. Sit up straight. Colin, you look very dark. Oh, I haven't finished. Um, I was trying to do something, but I, I, I'm actually doing another thing at the moment. I'll come back to the, the, the dark column in a second. Um, so you're late. There was four of us here waiting on you. Did you get a free caravan, Pat? Uh, hi, Ashley. Uh, hi, Rob. Free caravan. Yeah. I entered, I shared it and got a free caravan or free mini house. If 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 someone out there has done that, um, I apologize. Um, but you, you know, come on, come on, come on. Why come are you sharing on. it? Just it's Facebook would be even easier. There's a page transparency button you can press, and it shows what date. But like page come on. The pet come peeve on. of my people. Uh, Sharing these random uh, things to try and win prizes. Uh, how are we doing, everybody? Good, it's going yeah, to be good. quiet night tonight. It's going to be very, very quiet tonight. The Premiership We're is quiet. on. The sun is out. People don't like us anymore. It's true. And we have some news for you uh, that we will let you know uh, after you've, this quiz. You've had your fun now, and you've all, you know, oh, we got it through. And now, now we don't care anymore. Oh, we're all open 20, June 29th. Uh, don't need these guys anymore. <laughs> uh, right. Um, right, so um, you've got about 40 minutes to purchase your tickets. Watching the match and this, multitasking. I'm doing the exact same thing. I have a match over in the corner. See, you can do both. They don't. They're not, they're not, they're not listening to that. No. I might well, I be here someday. Well, I tell you, well, I tell you a story. Go on, tell us a story. Or like, I'll wait till a few more people have joined in. I'll tell you a nice story about someone who recognized me. I got recognized. Got recognized? Yeah, I'm famous. Who, who recognized you? Did you sign an per autograph? A person working in a coffee shop. Right. I had I had no I had no money on me because my bank cards were gone and the coffee shop that I was in was only taking card payment but they still let me get away with um they, they covered it themselves so I'm gonna have to say thanks to them uh, personally and also give them a little something either from Barcadia or from one of the other vouchers that I've got lying around the place but I'll drop it into them but uh, if they know if they're watching legend thank you for much helping me out here you go and see there's some nice people out there. I got I got my new pins today, but I didn't get my new cards. The cards don't arrive now till Monday, I'm assuming. Very awkward. Yeah, it's not the same pin. No, I I, I I don't know why, but I didn't take the same pin. It didn't, you know. Mine just arrives. I do nothing. It just arrives oh. and it says same pin. Nathan's having a picnic. Okay. Great that I wasn't invited. You think I want I, I want to be here? Um radio. I'm just gonna check this. 35 minutes, get yourself some tickets. And um, by the way, uh <laughs> prize wise. What's gonna be low? There might there might be anything. We'll have something. For first, maybe. Ah, uh, we'll we'll have the same kind of maybe along the lines of what we have for the Sunday quiz. Sunday, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't be lots, but uh, we you know we'll throw in a, a free. T 
ticket or something. <laughs> oh, the, look, this is always going to happen. We, you, you can actually graph. You can put a graph on everything and show it. Uh, there's been a steady decline since the start. We're right here, right now. We're just hitting here. There, there's a possibility mm -hmm. people are sick of quizzes at this point. I know I am. No, it's, uh, keep, kept, kept us entertained. Hopefully keeps uh, most of these people entertained. Football is back. That just means taking the laptop downstairs. Easy. <laughs> there you go. See, it works out. You can do everything. I'll do crowd noises while you watch the football. It's <sighs> weird. I don't, know what, I don't know what just happened there. It sounded like me making sea noises. Ah, ah. Ooh. Can you put some Enya in as the background music? Thank you, please. Oh, she'll definitely sue us. Oh, my Lord. Solomon asking to be sued. She she took down the Fujis, man. Ah, well, they did pretty much plagiarize her. They were uh, ready right, or not. Turn her. Let's see how many people are in. <gasps> oh, Colin, are you doing bits and pieces? Where are you going? I closed OBS. You big just Still there. Back. I can still hear you. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Um, I think. Come here. Can someone who was watching the Norwich game tell me? Are they pumping crowd sounds? No, they're not pumping crowd sounds into the stadium. They are just. You, you've got. Some channels like Sky Sports says main event has FIFA noises, so they've got the crowd noise that they're controlling, and then I think Sky Sports Premier League has no crowd noises. If you're watching on a normal Premier League, it was just like a training game or something. Nearly there now. I, I, I actually like I actually like the crowd noises. Colin, are you a hologram? And phasing in and out of this universe. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. The, the camera is just useless. I think it's actually getting worse. It's just useless, like. Do I keep disappearing? I was like, what the hell? Something just started making a load of noise in the kitchen. It's a bubble maker for the kids. <laughs> just turned on all of them. Just turned on. Frightened the life on me. I thought the kitchen was on fire or something. Well, it wasn't, so I don't mean to pop your bubble or anything like. <laughs> no, not giving you that. Oh. No, the moon ah. had a long day. Uh, Colm, I think you were messing with your light settings. Yeah, I'm not. I, I honest to God, the, the camera's acting the maggot. I've got everyone. You have the same lights as me, right? Uh, go into your yeah. old. Go into but I have, a, I have a different camera than you. It's nothing to do with the lights. It's the camera keeps going on. It's the camera is changing something. I can't. Up I can't. your gain. Up your gain on your camera settings. You can't do that. Can't. Can't. Just let me upload nice the quick part. Okie dokie. Any updates on the t-shirts? No. Yeah. I'll be honest. I barely put my own pants on today. I just barely had the time to. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. There's a lot of work. Will we just tell them the news now as opposed to just... Uh, yeah, go on. You might as well break their hearts. Um, so, next Friday uh, will be our last Friday quiz. The next Friday will be our last Friday quiz for about a week. Um, we'll be back. <laughs> so, no, yeah. What we're doing is myself and Colm are going to take 10 days off. Um, a week and including so, a weekend. A weekend. Like. So we're taking from the 1st to, to the 9th off. Yeah, yeah. so we're back no, on the 10th. This is a quiz, the 10th. We're back the 10th. So from the 1st to the 
ninth will be off. So and we no are hoping for, for that quiz on the tenth that we will be in the same room. Studio. So we're going to set up a studio for all yeah, thirty of our fans that are remaining. That will be left. <laughs> It'll be the usual. Whoever's in the chat right now, it'll be for you. Um, that the, the the quiz thing should be live. Um, and we have two teams in there at the moment, and one of them is me. Right. So we've one team in there at the moment. The other one could be you. Nope. All right. Yeah, it works. Anyway, it should take you straight through. There you through. go. I I'll. And for, I'm gonna ju I'll jump onto Instagram everyone so I'll just ask a random question. Your floor manager has rejected your leave request. Yeah. Uh, right, so you can join it in the quiz right now. You can Right you Pat Snacks. There's not much snack wise these days. So just have a pack of um, Savannah chili nuts. I have decided to stop snacking. I ate bananas last night and today. Just full of sugar too. Natural sugar, yeah. but still sugar. The weekend of the snack quiz, I decided to give it up like. Check into QA, Quizaholics and then How do we know what day, is, day it is? Don't actually know. Uh, right, you got 30 minutes to purchase tickets. Right, the quiz is uploaded. And let's see. Crowd part is going. There's only eight people in there. Right, let's go into the other thing. So, right, I'm here now. Okay, let me fix my camera first before I start waffling on. Right, you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to reset the camera. Did you clear the time off with HR or are you just calling in sick? Using up our holidays. They told us to use up our holidays because we haven't had a day off in six years. What? <laughs> and we're all disappearing here, are we? <laughs> Colin was just a large kid now. Gemma Doyle's in. Hi, Gemma. Uh, tiny Colin. No, large head Colin. Can't figure out what I'm doing here now. Right, going to OBS. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Get over it. Properties. I know what I'm doing. Don't touch it. I got it. <laughs> what? Are you? It just looks funny from where I'm looking. This is all I'm seeing. <laughs> Right, that's 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 the camera refocused. Just keep talking to people. Don't be watching me. Don't like. I mean, I'm trying to fix something here. Like, oh, oh sorry, sorry, I'm interrupting you. Oh, My geez. God, yeah, same as this ticky box thing. How do I do the ticky box? You know, I um, right. We've got eleven teams in. Oh my God, it's gonna be so quiet. <laughs> what? We, what? We might not have the 20 second halftime challenge because we have nothing to give you and it might be very, very quiet. We, we'll, we'll all have an early night. We're not, look, we're not going to dwell in any of this stuff. These things happen, man, from time to time. Uh, people, you know, so we're not going to make a big deal out of this. It just happens. Not going to make a big deal out of it. Damn straight I am, Colin. Uh, right, that's, that's as good as I can get it. Is that all right? Okay. Background's not that bright, though. So. It was never like that bright. Uh, you can give your dog. You can give your dog as a prize, and the dog just got the haircut. So, there you go. And that cost me fifty bucks. So, I have all my stuff ready for halftime show. Oh, Rob, you're gonna join us. I said if we get one or two people, we'll do it. We don't. We won't have a prize for you. Um, but um. Kate, I might have a chance of winning now. You might. People know to come on uh, very late anyway. People, a lot of people just jump on uh, with five minutes to go. Oh. 
There's five Welcome visitors. Just sent me a form. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's got pairs of left shoes, pairs of right shoes. He's got a can of Coke. He's got hand sanitizer, fruit, Coke. a book, game. What, what board games has he got? Avengers. What's his name? Oh, a pair of. Um, he's got a frying pan. There's a kettlebell in the back as well. My God, he's got it all. Call him. Make sure to delete fruit and uh, toilet roll. <laughs> done. Done and, and done. Games. I'll Just do it on the fly anyway. And tongs are the way. So we got ourselves 26 minutes before we get this quiz underway. The first question will arrive on your phone uh, or the device you're choosing to answer at five past nine. So if you still haven't bought yourself a ticket and you're mulling around inside our online shop, now is the time to make the purchase so that we can help you out with any problems that you may incur if you are doing the uh, quiz. So yeah. I'm just going to jump in and see if there's anybody in the shop. I guide them around. Hi guys, how are we doing? There's four people in there right now. Oh, from all over the country. Waterford is just checking out right now. They just made a sale. Thank you very much. Yeah, Cork is in there. Um, Dublin's in there. So, um, yeah, they we uh, someone might have noticed that we changed the quiz that was happening on Sunday away from Eurovision. The uh, Let's just say that the response to Eurovision was quite low. And a lot of people were saying, mm, listen, I I'll see you in two weeks' time. So the fear of God was put into us and we decided at the, you know, midweek, just after we chatted to people on Tuesday that we were going to do, I think, was there, did we do a quiz on Tuesday? Did we do? Yes, for MS Ireland. Yeah. So um, we decided on Tuesday that we were going to change it up. Uh, so we went with the snack quiz, which is a great idea in my mind because it combines everything we were doing. Pat, have you got the picture of it? Look Comes at that. After before you even said it. Look at oh. Look at how good that is. Isn't that good? You're D5 and I'm E6, just in case anyone's looking to get us out of a vending machine. I went with some classics in there, like you've got your potato, you've got your meanies, you've got your mighty munch, none of this monster munch shite. Uh, you got your chickadees, you got your Johnny Onion rings to change things up a little bit. And especially for you, Pat, I stuck in some flips. You love your flips, don't you? you I got do. your skittles. You've got a pink snack, which hasn't been made in five years, according to our research the last few days. Out of date. That one is definitely out of date. And it goes out of date more than likely on a Saturday. Uh, the bounty bars, there you go, the two of them. Um, because, you know, only Column eats bounty bars, evidently. Uh, there's a couple of double-deckers there because, you know, um, not everyone eats a double-decker, but they are fabulous. Twirls, poppets, because, they, you know, you eat old lady stuff. Um, I have a bag of poppets in the press a mint and, and actually it only occurred to me the other day there's a mint and there's a standard aero bar but they got rid of the orange aero bar ages ago nobody got that bar you yeah, yeah i loved it but it turns out <laughs> you're saying that it goes for the fries uh what's chocolate it cream chocolate cream orange chocolate cream by the way none of the other stuff and you're on about me and granny's sweets that's the, ah. that's the definition of a granny <laughs> chocolate bar. Is that a nine euro pack of potato? It is, and you can get them in Barcadia along with your tokens. <laughs> um, yeah, Barcadia is going to reopen. Uh, I won't be there myself because I'm I'm going to avoid all bars and restaurants <laughs> forever. <laughs> if they get COVID, no, it'll be open. We'll be there. Uh, we'll be popping our heads in every so often to make sure everything's running smoothly. Uh, George, the manager, is back up and working and all that kind of stuff. So Barcadia will reopen very very soon. And um, we've been in there a few weeks. And we have been moving machines around to make little mini arcades. So, yeah. That was a dance dance revolution today. That was fun. Oh. <laughs> we take the whole thing apart. It's the top is, is a pain in the ass to take off and then put back on again. Oh, Colm, we have to get the dance floor through a door. Sideways. Sideways. Turn it on its side. Up there. So we... Oh, it's ridiculous. Does it look class in there, though? Yeah. It's going to be a sweat box. <laughs> Would you like your literally? We have a little, dance, food. A little room, a tiny little room with just a dance dance machine in there. The sweating on the walls. 
Uh, so you're serious about the, the snack quiz? When is the yeah. Marvel one? Andrew, come on. Well, actually, we thought about a Marvel one, but then we thought about the, well, actually, people, and we thought to ourselves, no, I can't go through it anymore. There's a Harry Potter question in the thing tonight, by the way. What? Yeah. I'm exiting the house when that happens. I'm just leaving, like, the whole, I don't want to be within 20 feet. I guarantee the answer's wrong, and it's going to just annoy everyone. I know, yeah. Well, technically... Well, technically, it's not real. It's made up. Right, you got about 20 minutes. Purchase a ticket. Books or movies? Who See, cares? look, this is the starter. You answer whatever we throw at you. John Amani, I will compose the Marvel quiz for you and not participate. And then we can just pass the blame to John. And we but just have... A, and We're the ones that have to and the camera and take it like... Yeah, but we'll have John in the background, and when it goes wrong, we just put John up there, and we disappear into the... <laughs> and we let Moira just John take the flag. They're Moira. all joining in now. They're all the late arrivals. Moira's here. Jimmy G's Jimmy here. G. Happy Friday, lads. Hope you had a good week. It was okay. Actually, we, we had a very, very busy week. We've been doing quizzes every day this week, and we've oh, got I'll quizzes wait till next week. week. Next week, every day. Next week, no, look, don't get us wrong. We're ha very, very happy. Yes, we are delighted. We'll also be introducing some more stuff for the corporate clients, including uh, music bingo and some other kind of game showy kind of stuff as well. So, if anyone knows of any corporate clients and they're looking for something a little bit different to do for their staff and they want to do a table quiz or something else, they can also contact us. Boom, 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 boom. Pass on our details to your boss or to your so sports and social department in work. If you're still, of course, if you are still working. Tickets still for sale. There are late people in the store, uh, as always, with 20 minutes to go. Make sure if you do have your ticket at this point that you let us know if you're having any difficulties or issues. Uh, all the instructions are in the email that you should receive after you made a purchase. If you didn't receive an email, uh, check your other folder or your spam or search for send owl owl Woo -hoo, send owl and that will hopefully bring up an email that will give you the details of how to click through all the information of how to play is in that too and you should be able to follow the instructions it's very very easy the link is now live if you want to click straight through to it we have ourselves only 20 odd players in there at the moment 23 players at the moment so we need if you have bought a ticket now is the time to connect just in case any issue arises we can sort it out just so you know, there is a delay on the uh, the socials and on the YouTube. So Facebook has about a 20 second delay, but YouTube only between nine and 10 seconds. Oh, Nathan. Patrick, you're jumping all over the place. Sorry, he's moving stuff there. Am I right? Yeah, you're better again now. No, I was moving tabs around the place. I think my computer wants a break as well. Um, so we will be doing a quiz uh, this Sunday, which will be the snack quiz. We have a quiz next Sunday, which is the, or this coming Sunday, some people will call it, which is the snack quiz. There is no quiz on Tuesday, as we did MS Ireland last Thursday, Tuesday, and we skip one every year, so we give them a chance to build up. Uh, we have a quiz then next Friday, which will be our last Friday quiz until the 10th, and we still have an always sunny in Philadelphia quiz on the 28th. And to wrap that up before we go on our summer holidays, as we're going to call it, we're all going on. Our... And mm -hmm. it's uh, Tuesday the 30th. And uh, do we have a charity chosen? Let's make a wish. Make a wish. So we'll, have, we'll have the details of that and an event up for that in the next day or two. On Tuesday. There'll be loads. Sorry, Colm. What's an owl again? Bjork, Bjork. No, no. Uh, right about 17 minutes to purchase ticket. People are taking their time to get in here. You're very uh, lackadaisical about your approach to doing this quiz. You're putting the fear of God in myself and Pat. As you can see, like Pat I'm is... Very I'm very tired. Snack. Snack. Finally, Snack. Michael, it becomes useful. I tell you what, it's, it, the, the quiz writes itself. It writes itself. It doesn't. Well, I still have to write it. Liverpool are playing Everton. And the people who don't know, I'm actually uh, a big Liverpool fan. So I will show up about uh, 10, 15 minutes before the quiz starts. Oh, We've also deliberately, 
Tottenham against Man United. This Yay. makes me happy. Sixth place. Um. So yeah, we're 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 also not working on Wednesday night so that we can watch the Everton. No, Crystal Palace game on Wednesday. Yeah. We I had tickets for that. Put your head down and have a school little a school like nap. So if you're new, hello, you're very welcome. If you haven't been with us in a while, hello, hope you're doing well. Mr. Donovan, hey guys, I haven't got my email. I've checked my spam folder too. Um, I'm just going to go two seconds there, Chris. I can open up orders and have a look. Cullum, can you send me something in the private chat there? Yes, please? of course I can. You made me yawn. I can't stop thinking about your yawn. What do you want me to send you? The link, is it? Just kind of a look here. Chris. Oh, let's see if I can find Chris's email and I can send them something. Oh, yeah. I had it in my copy and paste already. Uh, oh. Chris O'Donovan. Uh, are you Christine O'Donovan? So, uh, if Chris O'Donovan, if you are Christine O'Donovan, just let me know. And I can uh, send you. At 4.05 today, I think someone by the name of Christine bought the tickets. Yeah. Gets all yawning and boom, we forget there was like, no quiz. You did the quiz last night. Did I? Yeah, of course you did. Uh, so Chris O'Donovan, uh, please let us know if you're a Christine O'Donovan, because I'll be resending you an email. Uh Right, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So again, as you said, if you're new, if you haven't oh, been here before, I'm join in in the chat either on Facebook or on YouTube, and you can send us some messages. If you've got a birthday or you've got a request or a shout out to new, then send it to us. We'll do it. We'll even sing happy birthday. We don't care. Uh, radio. Robert Amara, I've never been in the top 100, but tonight I feel like it's my night. Yeah, I'll tell you what, tonight is yeah. your night. He'll be in the top 50. 35 players involved with only 14 minutes to go. If you are out there and you're supposed to be playing or you know someone is supposed to be playing or you haven't joined in yet, do so now as it is easier for us to tell you how to fix any problem that might arise. No, I'm Christine O'Donovan. That's Ashley Desmond. That makes no sense. They're all just trying to pretend they're Christine O'Donovan. Get out of it, messers. I won Tuesday and they gave me a voucher to someone and they gave the voucher to someone else. What? I don't know. That's John. John O'Manny. I don't know what he's going on about. Michael McCarthy. Hi, Pat. Sorry I couldn't make Larney last weekend. There we go again. He's in. I was down uh, there. That's the last time I'll ever meet you again. John O'Manny devastated. Yeah, we gave it away to a random punter rather than to someone who's already won loads of stuff off us already. Like me. So, yeah. Here we are. Tell Tony right. and Nari we are coming for them. That's from Louise O'Brien. So Tony and Nari were... Louise is coming for you. For you. You hear? Any shout out? If you're in a weird place in the world, if you're in a weird spot, let us know where you are. Even and all from James Cotton. Looking forward to a quiz-tastic time. So we've only got a few people entering here now. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll tell you our news and again in a few minutes. All right. And I retract uh, just number one, though. Uh... Robert Amara, Douglas is weird. Why? Douglas is weird. What do you know about Douglas for? You leave Douglas, um... leave Douglas alone. Oh, Ashley just got into me. So we got a couple of people from uh, Dublin always playing as well. Hello to our Dublin players. How are things? I hope you're doing well. Hope this Friday, uh, normally in, in Dublin at this point, when we look out the window, it's dark outside in my house, but like in Dublin, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon on a sunny day. Uh, I, I turn it off, but it looks like it's daylight outside still, is it? Is it daytime still? Yes, it is. I can see a bit of sunlight there. What news? Are you trying to not? No, we're the news that we're taking a break. Yeah. For 10 days. Don't worry. It's not like we're going to go really far like. But see if we can organize this and change things up a little bit. 
Yeah. Try and put a bit of yeah, advertising. We we we've stopped advertising about four weeks ago. So we have no one to blame but ourselves. But it costs money, Colin. It does. But money brings people to You can pour people. money into Facebook. People who like your page. People who like your Facebook page. They don't even see half your posts because Facebook wants you to pay. Damn you, Mark Zuckerberg. Damn you! Um, right, uh, you got about 10 more minutes to purchase tickets. We'll it's, also, fun anyway. it's also become a thing where people are buying tickets later and later and later. It's very strange. Actually, or it's very hard to tell because when numbers go down and people are buying tickets later and later and later, you're just wondering, is those the people who are buying the tickets later and later and later all the time? Or has it just become a thing where people just know they can buy a ticket later because they, they, they know how the thing works? So, very hard to tell. Uh, Yes. So yeah, our, our last quiz for uh, the, the, the it will be the 30th of June. So for the, on the 30th of June, we're just going to take a break for uh, 10 days and we'll be back on the 10th. Friday the 10th will be our next quiz. So you'll have a quiz with us on uh, tonight, this Sunday for the snack quiz. Next Friday, uh, you'll have one with us on the Sunday the 28th, which will be an always sunny and fidelity quiz. And uh, on Tuesday the 30th will be our Make-A-Wish Foundation charity quiz. And then we're going to take a break. Uh, there'll be no quiz that weekend of the July weekend, if you like to call it the July weekend. There is no such thing as the July weekend, but the first weekend of July. And then we're back on Friday the 10th with our another Friday quiz. So, yeah. And hopefully in the same place. We'll be in the no, same room. <laughs> no matter what happens, we're going to try our best to keep these Friday quizzes going. We're going to try and do them in the same room and make it a bit more interesting. Right. Uh... Mendoza. Mendoza. Um, boom, 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 boom. What you eating? Jesus, lads, you gave me a heart attack. 52 in. 52 in. We still got ourselves 10 more minutes before we do the intro and we get this quiz underway. Checking out to see how many players we have. I think we've gone over the hundred. I think we have a hundred tickets sold. Um, yeah, one hundred seven from what I can see, which is half the tickets of last week. So just so you know, yeah, just shows you between this week and last week, half. We were averaging around two forty, two hundred forty for about three weeks, and then all of a sudden this week. But you know what? It's the middle of summer. We always saw it before, even in the bars and in the restaurants and every place that we do quizzes. Like summer is just not quiz time. No one likes doing quizzes during the summer. They want to be outdoors or they're having barbecues, they're having drinks. And now that the restrictions are getting lifted a little bit more and more and the pubs are coming back. People we should are- organize a big, huge, massive quiz. In a, in a place. In a, in a hotel room. But we can only have 100 people. That's the problem. Oh, no, but not straight away. Restrictions oh, yeah. will be lifted in two months. So everyone who comes to our quiz will get a gift of COVID. The COVID gift, the gift that keeps on giving and spreading. I will go and I will lick everybody's face that walks in the door. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, chances of 100% in any question. Hashtag not happening. <laughs> not, ah, tonight. I, not tonight. Uh, I we think- will. I think the quiz is medium this week. No, I don't think there's any easy questions. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm prepping it because I'm very confident. I, I don't think there's any easy questions tonight. Yes. There goes your top 100 there, lads. Um, this is time we're just wasting. Uh, Chris, uh, let us know if you got in. so yeah people very slow to join um remember that time you got two thousand people and you had to refund everyone because the quiz broke good times yeah thanks for reminding us robert Uh, it was 1800 people i know i remember refunding him uh right one at a time. <laughs> so seven minutes 
one, seven minutes to go. Uh, lines are still open. Let's let's call them lines. The shop is still open away. They're air. Uh, eight visitors currently mulling around inside there. So yeah, there's still very late ticket sales at the moment, but we don't mind. We keep it open as long as we can. And um, people in around. Ooh, there's someone in Switzerland considering buying a ticket at the moment. That or either they're using a VPN. I'm assuming in there. It's uh, somewhere in Switzerland. A couple of people in Cork, and again, a load of people in around Dublin, North Dublin, and Dundalk, or maybe even north, south part of Northern Ireland, the southern part. So, if you're if you're there and you want to buy a ticket and you want to join in, you're more than welcome to. We'd love to have you involved. Uh, if it's your first time playing the quiz, you're very welcome along. Let us know where you are in the world, or where you are in the country, or where you are in the county. So that we can say hello to you and I can Google places. I love Googling places. So if you're in a place that we haven't that you think is unusual, like New Two Pothouse outside of Mallow in Cork, get on to us. Sorry, just sitting buy, on some price. tickets as soon as they went on sale for the fear that they would sell out. Now I rock in at 8 p.m. to buy take buy them, and that's where we go. I didn't even ask for a refund for that night. I still had a great time. It was like watching a car crash in slow motion. We know. You've repeatedly told us that it was like a car crash in slow motion. You've you've said it on multiple occasions. Uh, would you would you do a live from insert venue here when things return to normal and have people playing from home in the pub? Yes, we are going to do that. Um, we may do a thing where people can come along and play in the venue, and then people online can also play, and there'll be two separate tiers. There'll be the price for inside the pub, and there'll be a price for online. So we are thinking that we will do it in the same place every Friday, and then consider doing we'll go to a place so we'll go to a different place like a resort or some sort as long as they give us a free room uh five minutes and we have most of our people and still short about 20 people andrew naylor says excuse me i'm in dublin south right right he wrote no like right i like the way they still write you as they always put the s right you as you as get out of that garden <laughs> What quiz was that, Robert Amara? It, John Amani, you're trying to don't, don't even say it. Set a few tickets at half time in the United match. I know. <laughs> Could easy do. Uh, Spurs are winning one now. Yeah, United are trying to do that tactic as well. <laughs> it is very easy to get tickets for United at the moment. Uh, do you remember that uh, time I was on the train to go to see Hall and Oates and I sent out a message Can I get a ticket for Manchester United game and for Chelsea, Chelsea. Man United? And I, I, I like. Walked in, left at halftime. Good times. Remember, we could walk around the place and get planes. Uh, yeah, we know that, Wes. And uh, some people, the football might be poaching a few people. We, we That's why we considered. We considered, uh, we, considered we considered starting the game after the match, but then we thought the people who would love to do the quiz were going to be annoyed that we'd be starting later. I think it'd be very late, wouldn't it? I think it'd be late. Like be if, it starts, if it starts, at, this is what we used to do in the woolshed. I mean, it's the same standard in the woolshed. Like the, the sport always took priority, and we let the sport finish, and then we'd start afterwards. Speaking of United, hello from Manchester. Moira O'Reilly. Moira O'Reilly. Is she in Manchester? Didn't know that. Yeah. What part of Manchester are you in, Moira? I don't know, John. I think it might have been the Harry Potter quiz. There you go. Great night. Pat panicked. Colin couldn't pronounce anything. Refund everyone once uh, one at a time. Car crash in slow motion. <laughs> Again, he reiterates car crash in slow motion. I, that, I have that video. It's taken off of Facebook because of um, letters. And it's taken down off of youtube but i have it unlisted so i can go back and watch it someday i will put it back <laughs> for you all to watch i'm actually just gonna go into room and watch it now you can watch it like pat reacts we'll do a pat and column reacts video no i can't I, I, my stomach my stomach can't handle it i can't think of actually watching it again you know the stomach ulcers just watching Ugh. Robert Amar wants it. No, you can't. If you want to watch it, <laughs> if you want to watch it, it's going to cost you. Um, cross the keys from Old Trafford for, uh, from County Clare, though. What part of Clare are you from, Moira? My wife is from Ennis. Um, let's have a look here. Now, there's another one I missed there. Um, oh, yeah. So we were asking. I, oh, yeah. Someone said, yeah, Ashling points out that you always wait until the end of the game in Sober Lane. And I complained incessantly, she says. 
Oh yeah, every time. <laughs> she complained. She complained a lot. So imagine, Colm, I had Ashley Desmond complaining to me in the flesh every Perfect. Tuesday. She really should have done it with clothes on. To be fair, though. Yeah, it's not a nice weird wish. Your flesh. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna so, go back here to my. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, the, let us know what you think. If like, I mean, tonight uh, it's not going to happen too often. The, the the sport will be over soon enough, and then it'll be back again to normal. And it's rare enough that there'll be Premiership games on a Friday night, unless of course they figure out that oh my god, but. It, there's attendance things that they have in the UK that they're, they're they're bypassing. There's an attendance law that means they can't show games before five o'clock on a Saturday, um, or the five thirty, even if it's Spanish league. So it, it doesn't affect attendance at sporting grounds around the country, and it it's written into law. It's a it's a law. I mean, it's passed by Parliament over there to protect grassroots and lower leagues and stuff like that, like soccer, so that people will go to those events rather than stay at home and watch TV. But uh, the, the, the Greatest thing in the world. The championship has been on a, a Friday night recently. So I, I don't know if that's going to change uh, going forward. None of us know what the sporting stuff is going to be like. But if you think it's worth staying until after the match to try and drive a bit more uh, business, let us know. It is one Come minute point. Did, did you see that Leo Varadkar snuck in a mean girl's quote? Oh, no. What what, what, what did he go for? Um, There, or is it, there are no limits. I don't want she wins the two seconds there now. Looking for something. So there's a, there's a lot of people still in the store. I'm gonna keep it open for another three or four minutes. All right. There is there's 18. All right. Uh no unusual places in around Fermana. Someone in Fermana is looking at us. Uh, a couple in Cork, a uh, few in the middle of the country there in around. Oh, uh, they've gone. I just mentioned it. I was just about to say Kilkenny and bang, gone. And we got ourselves a few up the old East Coast as well, all the way up to Dublin. So if you aren't there and you want to buy yourself a ticket, you really, you, you've you got one or two minutes left. I'm not going to close it down right this second, but you do have yourself a few seconds left. Every player counts. It, br it brings up the oh, prizes. It, uh, it helps us pay the bills and keep the quizzes going and uh, yeah your help is 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 brilliant as well every time people we the amount of people sharing the our quizzes out online and stuff as well is is brilliant and amazing and we thank you so much as well for doing that <laughs> what are you laughing at oh jesus don't do it <laughs> look at your face you're you're doing the exact same reaction <laughs> it is there i have it <laughs> I literally just skipped into one part of the video. I'm like this. And you're like that. <laughs> we will go back and watch it. We'll do it in a live venue when people are there, though. So we don't get sued for showing. On the internet. Ashley now is getting annoyed at you. The limit does not exist. Keep your skin on there, Ashley, would you? Keep your clothes on. All right, sorry. I saw the movie 20 years ago. Do you know it was written by Tina Fey? There you go. 30 was Rock. It? Yeah. She also was the, the teacher in it or the principal. I can't remember which one. I've only seen it once. I saw it in the cinema as well with Gillian back in Ennis, in the Ennis cinema. The cinema. Yeah, the cinema's the, back open. When? June 29th. Are they back as well? Yeah. That's all I want now is to sit in a dark room with people coughing on my neck. I'm back playing football on Monday, June 29th. You go, Glenn Coco. That comes from Shane Weldon. There you go. Uh, maybe match nights are Pornhub themed quizzes and Fergal Collins would walk away with it. Yep, we know that. <laughs> he had he had Pornhub Premium before it became free. Wow. Right. Where's all Robert Amaris? All products make product unavailable. Clicky the ticky boxy. That's what he's telling me during. Oh, yeah. uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open. There's still there's six visitors inside there. I'm gonna leave it alone just for one more one more minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the intro and then I'll close the quiz. See, they might that 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 amount might pay to beat my kids. Speak. Stop it. I, there's nothing worse than looking desperate on screen. Let's not let like, let's not be let's be the one where we look Wait, back at six months time at this video where the two of us go. I can't do it anymore. Well, that's if my kids are uh, healthy. 
So Moira and No and Robert are both shouting intro. So just give them the I intro. Know. That's okay. I'll give them the intro and you can close them the shop. I don't I know you don't want to. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it open. You know what? If you want to keep buying a ticket, we're starting without you, but we're going to leave the shop open. But we'll be starting without you. You can join in even five questions into it. I'll keep it going. How's that sound, Pat? Yeah, that sounds yeah. good to me. I'm happy enough on that. Um, we sold two tickets in the last one minute. So uh, that's the way to do it. Intro. From the people who brought you. The car crash in slow motion Harry Potter quiz. It's Pat and Colm. Is that about that? Please don't sue us. Shh. We're not allowed to talk. You know we're not allowed to talk. That's non-disclosure for man. We sold another two tickets in the I last 30 seconds. I signed nothing. Still five people looking at it. Now there's someone in Hungary looking at a ticket in Budapest and it's someone and on their mobile did. phone viewed your checkout page which means they're in the checkout merch like a hoodie with Pat's confused face looking all confused I did the Harry I Potter have... and got a refund there you go that's what a good one I did the Harry Potter quiz and got a refund <laughs> <laughs> the, will, the person, will the person who's in Hungary and who's looking at buying a ticket on their phone go on buy it now right Pat will you tell them how, how, how um, it all works right I'm just going to see I want to see how many people are in there's a hundred and okay. thirty and right yo if you haven't done the quiz before where have you been for the last three months what have you been doing really um, it's very easy you know. so what you're going to be watching this on the TV or a laptop on another device you're going to be answering the questions you got that link uh, from an email that was sent out an email that was sent to you you click on that put in your name put in your email address and in about one minute time you're going to be sent 20 questions multiple choice more points quicker you answer there you go They'll pop up on your phone first. So answer them as soon as you see them on your phone. Look at them and then answer them as quickly as you can. Because the faster you answer, as he said, the more points you'll get. But don't wait for us to ask it in the live stream. As the live stream is delayed, there's an eight-second delay on YouTube. So we do recommend that you watch us on YouTube because there is a up to 20-second delay on Facebook. So best way to do it is to watch us on YouTube and play on your phone or on a second tab. So there you go. Surely they've all played it at this stage. You don't I know. We don't. Jen Higgins, we've got, our, we've got ourselves a uh, we've got ourselves a new player here that I haven't spotted before. Jen Higgins is saying, "Can you wish Emer O'Rourke happy birthday for tomorrow?" And Jen has done a few quizzes. I, I, sorry, I don't remember everyone's name, but hi, Jen, who did loads of quizzes, and hello, Emer O'Rourke, happy birthday to you for tomorrow. It's not even her birthday right. now. Look at the device that you're using to answer. I'm pressing it now. Give him 10 seconds. Seven. Six, five, four, three, five. two. One. There we go. I've done loads. See, Jen, I knew. I knew who you were. Sorry, uh, Jen. Question. Finish the title of this Sean Mendes hit song. In my pants. I knew it was, I was going to say pants anyway. In my <laughs> pants, blood, head, shoes. I knew you would. Of course you would. You'd always say pants. I, said in my, I was going to say pants. In my pantaloons. 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 Right. Percentage 59% in my head. 2% went for pants. My God. In my pants. Uh, blood is the correct answer. Number two. The product is now unavailable, by the way. Store is closed. Uh, Balculus Marlinus Almanzar is better known as Cardi B, Lizzo, Nicki Minaj. Moira, 
Ah, first question, and I'm already stumped. What's the first question again? John Mendes in my pants. Yeah, that was a tough one. This one, this one's a tougher one. This one's tough too. You're, you're telling me you couldn't remember the question from literally thirty seconds ago. I was doing other things. I was closing down the thing. I was clicking the tickety box. I was clicking the tickety tickety box. Question two is a Harry Potter spell. I thought that's where we were going. Um, sixty-three percent Cardi B. He's fast, isn't he? He's fast. He should be doing the quiz. Second question flips table over and gives up. Ah, come on. Number three. What name is given to a resident of Chicago? A Chicagoan? A chicane? No, no. Is it a Chicagoanian? A Chicagoanian? <laughs> a Chicagoanian? <laughs> My God. You still I'm haven't got past it. The, the, the question's over. On. The I'm question's over. Yeah. <laughs> the question's over and you didn't even get past A. <laughs> I, was trying, I, I went to second and I went, no, I'm going back to this again. I will not be defeated by this word. A, a chick, a chick, a go again. A chick, a shaka, 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 a Oh it's a great God. time to ring me. Who is it? Can't be answering now, lads. Who is it? Answer it. I don't know. Answer. Well, Stick it on speakerphone right up against it. One. Hello. Hi. How do I get it on the. I've got a ticket for it, but I can't get in on my phone. Can't get into your phone. Right. Did you get a second email from Sendo? You should have gotten two emails. Uh, I did. Uh, I, have a, I have a number, yeah. Yeah. So what you do is on a phone. The one you're ringing me on, click on yeah. the link and it'll open up for you. Or if not, okay, I will sorry. text you on. You're now listening to yourself on the television. Welcome to the internet. I think Bye. GDPR has got out the window there. And yeah. <laughs> there's a number there. Um, right. Jesus. <laughs> right. Week, that's that's 16 people. You I'm know looking that, for a couple seconds. I know. I know. I should, she was thought she was ringing somebody in a back office. You're, no, you're ringing me. That's it. There's only two of us. Uh, Wes Kylie. What the? There's another Wes. I know. There's another Wes. I thought it was I you. Know. It's Wes O'Brien, though. We'll just call you, we call you Wes O'Reilly. <laughs> I wish he said, is that sexy Pat? And I said, no, this is the other one. Um... Four, we're going to move on. She'll join in. If not, <laughs> refund. <sorry>. Refund. <laughs> Question number four. Breaking Dawn is the last novel in a series written by Stephanie Meyer. What was the title of the first novel in the series? The Hunger Games or Twilight? We know that you're popular. Do you need to take a call, though? I know, Brian, but you see, I knew there was somebody in trouble. I'm always here to help. Um, 95% of E. Twilight, well done. Number five. The Kalahari Desert is located in which continents? That should be continent. Asia, Europe, Africa. Colm, you're just sitting back saying nothing, just rubbing yourself. I was doing the um, the maths on what the prizes were going to be. Oh, yeah. You're all, well, top two are getting five quid between them. <laughs> no, there is. There's, there's cash prizes. Don't, don't, don't you listen to me. Um, 55% said Africa, 45% said Asia. Africa. Rub, rubbing yourself. Rubbing what? <laughs> Uh, number six. Which brand of alcoholic drink is named after a 17th century Welsh pirate? Captain Morgan, Captain Phillips, Captain Kirk, Captain Hook. I, come on. <laughs> you know people are getting it wrong now on purpose. I, I'm not even doing it. 100%. 
I am the captain now. Wait for it. Captain Kirk. Captain Hulk. I've t- <laughs> captain Phillips. One, one, is it one, I think that's one person in each there, is it? One yeah. person in each of those, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Monty. Number seven. What type of food is quark? Nut, fruit, cheese, vegetable. Hello to everybody who's uh, had a first quiz. Our, us- our quizzes are usually run very professional and smooth. Just lost the run of ourselves there tonight. What do we do wrong? I don't know. Taking calls during the quiz. Are we, that's what we do normally, man. Uh, 78% cheese. With cheese, please. Um, number eight. In 1664, the Kronenberg Brewery was founded in which country? Kronenberg. Was it Germany, Netherlands, France, or Italy? Duck. And... Oh, you're on about the quirk. I got that, Wes. And 36%, 40%. Ooh. Hi, Bart. Our bond quiz. Uh, 24% France, is it? Which? Cronenberg. Yeah, Cronenberg is French. Hold on, let me check. Before I press any more buttons, Colin. Cronenberg is a brewery founded in 1664. France. Strasbourg, France. There you go. France. We're gonna, we, we will not hit 100% tonight. Which state of Australia is an island? New South Wales, Tasmania, Queensland, or Victoria? Getting mentioned in stories. Oh, if you are on Instagram, give us an old mention there. Who just mentioned us there, there? Emma just popped up on my uh, laptop screen. If you don't know this because of the cartoon, I'd be, I, I, if, if, like, if, down in Tasmania, ninety-two percent. That's Very clean idea. water in Tasmania. Down in Tasmania, yeah. Down in Tasmania, you drink it straight from the lake. Very clean. What name is given? What's this? A duck quiz? What name is given to a male duck? What was the other duck one? I was ways in with the quark. Right. Uh, is it Tom Drake Gander? Cobb and Taz bars were the best. Are they gone? Are Taz bars gone? I don't, I haven't seen them in a while. I haven't seen a Taz bar. I think Taz is a bit outdated now. They still got Freddo's though, don't they? But they that's just pure chocolate. Taz bar had the little caramel center. Are Freddo's just pure chocolate? Yeah, Freddo's are pure chocolate. I don't know. That's the last time I ate a Freddo. Um, 93%. Just got a message there. Uh, they were originally Australian. Fredos. Yeah? Yeah. They were, but Mac Robertson's company in Australia used to make them, and then Cadbury's bought them. And then they closed down Mac Robertson's and stole Fredos back. We're just uh, helping somebody out there in the background quickly. They're, they They used to have a strawberry flavor, a peppermint flavor. And they had a fruit and nut flavor, but that struggled for years. <laughs> there you go. Everyone's a fruit and nut case. Uh, number 11. Pat and Colm upped their game at the questions this week. Uh, if a prologue is a piece of writing at the beginning of a work of literature, what similar name is given to a piece of writing at the end of one? A sepilogue, an epilogue, a debt log. Care. Yeah, there was a caramel fr- Freddo, but the standard Freddo is one piece. There's two kind of Freddos. Yeah, go. For, I haven't seen the caramel Freddo in a long, long time. I didn't know there was pure chocolate. I'll be honest about it. Ah, oh, 
99%. A deadlock. That has to be just one person by mistake. It, that's one vote the wrong way there. Um, 12. So close. In terms of number of rooms, 15 of the 25 largest hotels in the world can be found in which city? We've had this before. It's a gimme, so. Yeah. Tokyo, Las Vegas, London, New York. Lads, you're doing a snacks quiz on Sunday. Caramel Fredo. And 83% Las Vegas. Ashling, what are you doing? Ashling has had a strokes. Please send an ambulance to Douglas. Thanks. Um, 13. In which movies would you find the characters Larvel Jones, Carrie Mahoney, and Debbie Callahan? Carrie Mahoney. What's wrong with you? Mahoney. Well, Mahoney. Oh, give it away. Shh. Many, many, many questions. Uh, the Hangover Police Academy or Naked Gun? I haven't found the caramel Fredo in a while. The, the Freddos that I'm buying in the last few months and in, in the last year, all I've been finding are the plain chocolate Freddos. I don't know if they still make them. Brida, Brida O'Donoghue messaged me. Make sure let me know if you, you got in. I pr pronounced my surname correctly. Fair dues. It's Mahoney. It's not Mahoney. Get out yes, of it. But in, in the context of the Police Academy oh, films, it's Mahoney. Well, um, um, 84%. Got it right. Please, Academy. Many, many. Bernadette Leiden. Sorry, yeah. lads. Just go. We know you're watching the game. Shouting the answers tonight. 14. Which 2007 Snow Patrol song spent a total of 91 weeks in the UK charts? Sean had a caramel Freddo yesterday. Right, I got to go to a different shop. Uh, run, chocolate, just say yes, chasing cars. Chocolate, what's the chances? Just say yes. Just say yes. And it was all really because um, boop. it was Grey's Anatomy, really, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, it no, that was how to save a life. Absolutely yeah. blew in America. I thought that was how to save a life. How to save a life. Snow Patrol um, and Jason Cares was on too. Did very yeah. well from it. 15. Which American rapper features an Usher's hit song? OMG. Oh my God. Not a good song. Was it Florida? DJ Khaled? <laughs> Ty A.O. Cruz? Or William? Florida. Here we go. Did, Tesco's do six packs of caramel Freddos for one fifty. I'm I, I'm I, if I start eating chocolate again, I'll, I'll go. I'll get a, a couple of caramel Freddos. Nope. Run with caramel Freddos. Uh, ooh, it was. Will I am? My really wants to know is that a better deal than ten mini rolls for four euros though? And I thought it was twelve mini rolls. Nah. If you do your pricing per kg, you will understand that the, the mini rolls are well worth it. Uh, 16, you feed a family of four off the mini rolls. Which male artist reached number one for the U in, the, in the US and UK in 2003 with Are You Ready for Love? George Michael, Bruce Springsteen, Elton John or Billy Joel? Bernadette Leiden says, Pat, did you see the message I sent to your messenger account? I did and i actually mentioned it but i think we're okay but i really appreciate the help i only saw it uh column when we were in barcadia but our, yeah yeah i did uh 87 are you ready are you ready I'm for love? love yes i yes, am 17 which bruno mars song begins with the lyrics easy come easy go this is how you live. And uh, was it finesse grenades locked out of heaven or 24k magic? Eight. 
A13 X Buckley wants to send you a message. Well, we'll have a look. Um, 73%. <laughs> Doesn't sound dodgy at all. Yeah, it's sometimes it sometimes goes into the other mailbox. What's this, a music quiz? Yeah, what's after happening is that I never randomized them, so I must have had a few questions from the music rounds that I have stacked away and then put them all side by side, but I never randomized it. So it just does feel like there's a few music questions stuck together. Uh, 18. Who was top scorer in the English Premier League in each of the three seasons from 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006? Sports. Sports. Was it Alan Shearer or Thierry Henry? And... Answers are in. 69%. Thierry Henry is the correct answer. Number 19. In centimeters, what is the diameter of a table tennis ball? 4, right. 12, 6, eight. I've come across an article about Fredos, right? That's published 13 years ago. Um, and it's about the Fredo creator. It's very sad, but I'll tell I'll, I'll, I'll say it in a oh, minute. Half time, half time. Um, thirty nine percent said four. It is correct. Twenty. And we're gonna break out. We hit now tennis ball. Uh, oh. rest... Which city would you find Britain's oldest university? Which city would you find Britain's oldest university? Fitty, fitty. Oxford, Cambridge. Fitty, fitty. Fitty, fitty. Oh no, I can't do that anymore. I don't think. Sixty-six percent went for Oxford. Correct. Right, scoreboard time. Let's see who is top of the board. And uh, Quizlamic State. Don't think we're allowed to say that either. And you are top of one six one four. Shane Weldon, one five seven zero. Shatner's bassoon <gasps> in third spot, but not by much. There's only 14 points separating you between her or into second spot. And um, what else we got? Donald's Legion of Sharks. 45th. I'll throw in again. MJ Guiney's in. Michael Guiney, how are you doing? Ben Hearn's in. Uh, Samantha White's in. Quizzing instead of jizzing. Right. Um, Louise Griffin, hip hop away in a Catholic way, uh, 88 spot. Bed Bath and Beyonce, good to have you back. All Nighter in Pennies. Enrico Palazzo is in. We, we've had a, we, I think Enrico Palazzo was playing with us during the week as well. Romero's better half is uh, 114th. What was seven, Colum? What's he uh, talking about? 27, a personal best. What was seven, Colum? Top 20 again on you. Very happy with ourselves. Uh, right, we do the next question at uh, half past. So 30 minutes past the hour. We will get the yeah. next question up on the screen. We'll give ourselves a large break then in between. Do we have anyone playing that little halftime quiz? Or um, I haven't even put up the thing to say how to join, but Robert Marr is going to join us. That's one. So if anyone else wants to do it, let us know now. Uh, I'll get rid of that in the background there so you can see. Right, Colm, tell us about Taz. Oh, yeah. It's sad, right? Yeah. The Fredo Frog person, right? His name was Harry Melbourne. He died at 70 years old in 2007. And <laughs> they draped the Fredo Frog flag over his coffin when he was laid to rest. <laughs> That's how serious it was. Yeah. There's a, you know the Fredo, uh, the, the insignia of the Fredo, yeah. the character. It's made into a flag and it was draped over his coffin. <laughs> Let's be all honest. Gonna... There's not much in the Fredo. Did he make millions of the Fredo? What's the story? Mr. Melbourne was working for Mac Roberts and Chocolates in 1930 when he told his boss of a frog-shaped chocolate that would be a better seller than the one that looked like a mouse. I told MacPherson Robertson, the owner of the chocolate company, uh, that women and children were afraid of mice and it wouldn't sell. And he, 
so uh, so uh, I overheard him say, "I think I'm thinking of a mouse, and I was never backward. I, I was never backward in coming forward." And I just piped up, and I said, "Sir, I may be only an 18 year old molder, <laughs> and I, I think I'll lose my job, but I think it should be a, a, a frog." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say he loved to tell a story about it. That is someone who stayed and, and more or less kept on to that one thing that they were famous for. I heard that uh, one in a quiz before and I still got it wrong. Jesus Christ, Stone, that's depressing. How is it depressing to be celebrated for something that you did in your life? People died. What is it wrong with you? Part of life. All of you are very upset over death. Could be the COVID thing. I don't know. And here's, here's the thing, Pat. Mr. Melbourne, the creator, never earned a single cent from the Fredo frog itself. What? Fredo, Fredo was created out of love for the firm. Chump. And according to the article, his funeral will take place tomorrow. <laughs> January 29th, 2007 at 11am. We'll have to celebrate his... Uh death every year the freddo the freddo yeah the creator of the freddo there, there we go caramel freddo's all around right Look, uh oh, rob Amar oh, is going to be oh, joining oh, us tonight oh, for a but if anybody else wants to join in we only need one or two more unfortunately there's i don't think there's a prize but we'll, we'll, we'll give a somewhere. free ticket we'll give a free ticket to the the snack quiz a, ch- a quiz of your choice yeah quiz your choice whenever suits and if we meet you anywhere on the street, we'll buy you a caramel Freddo. There you go. We can't get any better than that. Imagine you meet Freddo. up on the street and they're like, hey, you owe me a Freddo. And then we got to take our kids and everything by the hand and go into a shop, ask them, do they have Freddo? They don't, but we got to go next door then you? to deals. Um, right. Look at so, phone. Next lot of questions. Look at the phones, 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 look at the phones. Pat James to do the halftime. Right, done. Asling dropped me a message. Look at your uh, phone. Here's right, question, come. question 21. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thinking, is it? Yeah. New page. Yes. On a standard UK keyboard, there are 26 letters of the alphabet. They are distributed over three rows. Which of these rows contains no vowels? It's easy if you've got a laptop in front of you. Some of you are still going to mess it up. Bottom, middle, or top? Top, middle, bottom. Pat, it's not, because if you think about it, E. The top row is Q W E E R T Y. The next row down is A S D F. There's no vowels. In the bottom row. Uh, 88%. Claire wants a, Can I just get a normal chocolate one? Yes, you can. No. Maybe, maybe, the reason, maybe the reason I don't see the caramel chocolate fritters is because Nathan would never eat it. Uh, question 22. In 1987, what did the one million pound operation called Operation Deep Scan fail to find? I can't read my keyboard fast enough. Aliens in Roswell, Water on the Moon, Bigfoot, or the Loch Ness Monster. So one of those things, Deep Scan, Operation Deep Scan, spent one million pounds trying to find. Pounds might have given it away a little bit. It would be dollars if it was aliens in Roswell and Bigfoot, possibly. Water on the Moon, possibly dollars as well, but it definitely would be pounds for the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, they didn't find it, and they wasted their money. Ross and Rachel hook up for the first time in which season of Friends is question 23? Season 3, season 4, season 2. Do, 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 right, Pat? Yeah. Just sending people uh, links to join us. Oh, I'm just seeing um, Bernadette's other message. Opening the 29th of June. Um, Bernadette. Back here, by the way. Uh, 59%. Season 2. The right answer. He's a lobster. Question 24. 
Uh, how many engines does a Boeing 747 have? What's it supposed to normally have, anyway, at least? Eight, six, four. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? The pilot. Yeah, the pilot. And let's have a look at this. Ooh, very very bunch. Four is the correct answer. Yeah. Two big old engines under I'm each. I'm waiting week. for as we've had this before as well, Colin. There is technically another one at the very back. If you were to Google that question, Wait, it comes up four. Would you like to pop in here and uh I'm like I'm taking four, but I think he's gonna say it at five. Angela Crowley, drop me a message, a private message. If you want to get into the halftime show. <laughs> uh, Wes said, who said eight? And Wes, is there another one at the back? I don't know. Um, 25. Whenever it pops up. Which, what is this, an airport quiz? Which American city is served by O'Hare International Airport, the second busiest airport in America? So O'Hare International Airport serves which is it Chicago, Boston, or New York? Hey, Pat, what are the name? Of, what are the name of people who live in Chicago again? I can't remember what it was again. Chicago. <laughs> that was it. Chicago. Uh, Chicago. 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 O R D. What is this? A Chicago quiz? You see, I beat you to it before you even said it. Um. 87% Chicago. 26. Chicago. I clicked on there. Yes, moved on. In 2009, Lenny Henry became the face of which budget hotel chain? Chicago. Premier Inn. Jury's Inn. Easy Hotel. So did uh, Lenny Henry become the face of Premier Inn? Jury's in or easy hotel. I've never stayed in an easy hotel. Do you know that? An easy hotel? You know, the, the easy jet brand of hotels. I try and avoid them every time. I don't know why. They're probably perfectly fine. It is Premier Inn. 27. How many criminals made up the gang in the all female Oceans movie? So how many were in, the, how, what was the number? What It was Ocean's what? 8, 12, or 15? Should never have been made. Ever. Answers are in. Yep. 81%. Ah, for God's sakes. Ocean's 8. It's terrible. It's atrocious. Uh, I stopped it's... watching it. I stopped watching it. Question 28. I don't even know if they stole the stuff. I don't care. They all went to prison as far as I know. They all got caught and went to prison. Losing My Religion was a hit for which alternative rock band in 1991? Should have been Ocean Zero. Mm. You're damn right. But it's okay. In my version, they all went to prison for crimes that they committed. R.E.M., The Killers, The Rolling Stones are counting crows. So, losing my religion. Was it R.E.M., The Killers, The Rolling Stones are counting crows? Uh, 95%. 95%. I'm losing my will to live with all these people getting counting crows and, I don't know, The Rolling Stones and Killers. But R.E.M. is the right answer. Uh, losing 20... my religion. 29. 29. Nick, Kurt, and Dale are the main characters in which two comedy films? So far, there's only been two of them. So, is it? Horrible Bosses, Dumb and Dumber, Ghostbusters, or 21 slash 22 Jump Street? The crime committed was making that film. <laughs> Uh, Spoilers, Colin. No, that's the, that's what I made up. Samantha, I didn't see the end. I'm making up my own ending. 
they all went to prison and they hung for their crimes. They all got the electric chair. Crime doesn't pay. Uh, 77% horrible bosses. It was, it was set in the 1800s. Uh, 20, 30 become, 29 becomes 30. We're halfway through my round. Thank God. Which of the Spice Girls has a daughter called Bluebell Madonna? Bluebell Madonna. Victoria Beckham, Emma Bunton, or Jerry Halliwell? Is it the Bluebell Madonna Jesus thing you said? Is there? Or are you what? referring to me killing off all the cast of Ocean's 8? It's you killing off the cast. I would have done the same with the cast of Ocean's 12. That was another pile of poo. 80% uh, Jerry Halliwell. They all went to prison. 31. As the crow flies, uh, which city is nearer to London? Is it Athens or Moscow? So which one is nearer to London as the crow flies? My really, who lets these people choose their own name? Jesus, their kids' names. Uh, Athens, Moscow, let's have a look. Which do you think? This side of Russia, isn't it? I see you're trying to check me out. I'm going to say Moscow. And you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. It's Athens. Damn it. Thought you were trying to trick me. Bet they thought the same. I, I bet you know Wes is uh, like, third- hold on now. I flew. I flew. Both those. Dr- Shut up. Question 32. The, mon- the film Moneyball is about what sport? What is this? A sports movie quiz? What's uh, Moneyball? Is a, about what sport? Soccer, baseball, ice hockey, or basketball? Soccer. You had to kind of an uh, American accent because you did say soccer. <laughs> but it's it, the film is an American film, so it, if they if they were playing soccer in Moneyball, soccer. they'd be calling it soccer because there's only soccer. one type of. Ninety-two percent went for baseball. Well done to them. Five percent basketball, and they're, they're wrong. Three. And pe- just by the way, people went for ice hockey when a ball is not used, and quite plainly to see, it's a puck. In a standard game of darts, what is the minimum number of darts that have to be thrown to complete a leg of five hundred and one in darts? Is it where you throw darts? What is this a sports quiz? Twelve darts. Nine darts, five darts, or 16 darts? This is a darts question. Now, don't be darting too fast to answer it. I wish I just had an easy button like a mute you and just... <laughs> no, you don't want to mute me. This could be comedy gold at some point. You never know. I could say something controversial. That's why you don't want to turn me off. Oh no, just mute me listening to you. Then everybody can hear you. I don't care. Just so I don't have to suffer the bad jokes. 81% nine darts. So 81% people know their darts. Well done. Dart. Uh, um, <laughs> moving darting on, on to dart. Darting onto the next question. You can't use the same pun twice. You cannot. Dar. Uh, 34. Which spirit provides the alcoholic content of a pina colada cocktail? If you like pina coladas, are they made out of vodka or rum or gin? Uh, it is rum. Repeating the clada is made of rum. 95% know it. So one person went for gym and a, or a gin and a few people went for a vodka. Also, I don't know if they're watching tonight, but James Conroy's birthday is today. So James Conroy, uh, down below. And that also means that little baby James, their, their son, is also his birthday as well. So they're probably celebrating that them, themselves without it's doing it. So one billion is written in numerical form with the number of or no, with the number one followed by how many zeros? 11, 7, 9, 13. So Imagine how many... having that 
There's, there's a huge so, difference between a mil, uh, being a billionaire and a millionaire. Huge. Yeah. You should look up. You should look up how long, how much money it would take you to spend every second. If you spent a dollar every second, how long it would take you to spend a million against how long it would take you to spend a billion? It actually is incredible. What is the nine answer quiz? We should do a quiz with all the answer being nine and see how many people get them wrong. American billion or European billion? I'll tell you what, Robert. You choose and decide to answer whatever way you want. I thirty six. Um, there we go. In 2012, which famous actor became the first ever male ambassador for Chanel Number no. Five perfume? The answer is not nine, by the way. Will Smith, Antonio Banderas, Hugh Jackman, or Brad Pitt? So One Hugh Jackman is like 32 years. Is it? Yeah, so if you spend $1 every uh, second, I've seen that thing before. Years. Yeah, but if you spend it, I think if you spend a million every, it, it's like gone in like three days or something seconds. like that. Uh, 41%. Wait, but Brad Pitt, they'd be right. They'd be right. 37. Breaking down gender, man. Mr. Nine. In the... In the waning days of the American Civil War, a wounded soldier embarks on a perilous journey back from back home to somewhere North Carolina to reunite with his sweetheart. Fill in the blank in the plot, which is also the name of the 2003 movie. Oh my God. So, Jesus, you don't make it easy, Colin, do you? That, that's a plot of a movie. Two and a half weeks. There you go. So, two and a half weeks it takes uh, to, to spend a million. Uh, right. Tombstone, Elizabethtown, Cold Mountain, or Fargo? Is it back home to Tombstone, Elizabethtown, Cold Mountain, or Fargo? This is what Google's for. How many days is a million seconds? Eleven point five seven four days. So yeah, two weeks, less than two weeks. One billion seconds and days. That's a lot. And let's have a look. Cold Mountain is the correct answer. Take me back to Cold Mountain. In the Bourne identity, Bourne escapes from the U.S. Embassy in which country? So he escapes the U.S. Embassy at the start of the film in Bourne identity. It's a great scene. Which country is the U.S. Embassy he's escaping from? Italy, France, Germany, Switzerland. That's a tough one. What are you trying to do? So Italy, France, Germany, or Switzerland. Oh, that's all over the place. 33% went for France, but it wasn't. It was Switzerland where he escaped the uh, embassy. And then she drove him to Paris, I think, was it? That was she on the other night. Should have watched it. It's a great yes, show. You should have. You should have, Laszlo. It's a great show. That's three good what films. Is, is that watch. the one with the mini? Is that the mini, Jace? Yeah. Don't don't watch the fourth one with uh, Jason Bourne in it. It's, it's terrible. Or Bourne or whatever. Jason, whatever they call it. It's awful. 39. In 2003, a song by uh, called All the Things She Said made Tattoo uh, the first act from which country to have a UK number one hit single? All the things she said, all the things she said, run it to my head, run it to my head. Spain, Russia, Poland, Ireland. <laughs> I play it a lot in the brogue. Uh, Do you know why I get away with playing it yeah. a lot? Yeah, it fits in quite a lot with these all these rock songs that I'd be dropping in. Uh, 83% went for Russia, and it is the right answer. Remember, there was a bit dodgy that they were kind of like 17 years old, and they were kind of making out and stuff like that, and white T-shirts, and someone was just hosing them down. Um, question 40, <laughs> which of the following events occurred first? That's the face. See, you don't want to mute me, because that's the face you'll make. 
Uh, Robbie Williams left to take that, or Jerry Helliwell left the Spice Girls. What is this, a Spice Girls quiz? That's the face there for your uh, T-shirt there, uh, lads. Who said to put my name on the T-shirt? I don't know. Everyone did. Because they're famous. Andrew, Andrew Naylor, did he say it? Um, Seventy-one percent. Robbie Williams did indeed leave. Take that burst. Right. <laughs> Quick screenshot. Don't worry, you can watch it back afterwards. Uh, let's get the scoreboard up there. Shane Wilder, he's still in the top three. Let's have a look. No, just Eleanor Regan. I just paid you some more money from last week. I'm putting you get to college. Um, Quizlamic State still top. Terry they loves yogurt. I see you in there in 23rd spot. They have a 220 point advantage, by the way, just so you know. 38 out of 40, Ooh. right? That is. Who the bus? Right, I think we might have three people that might be joining us for our. Uh... Let's get it done now, uh, straight away. Let's yeah. get it rolling. And we're going to, we're going to be back at 10 o'clock with the next set of questions. We're going to do two rounds of 15 after that. So. Uh... There's 30 questions remaining, and we'll do them in two rounds of 15. And I'm trying to think now who I sent this link on to. Rob should be joining us. James should be joining us. And I think it's a, um, Angela, maybe? Yes, Angela. She's going to be joining us as well. So click the link now, guys. Join us. Um, 12 to 71st. Ooh. Claire, what happened there? Moira, 27 to 98. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. All right, uh, we're going to be waiting for a couple of people to join us. We have two in the background. I see in the background so far. And uh, James and Rob. Uh, just waiting for Angela to join us. And we will uh, bring you in. Yes, man, come on. We're just waiting for Angela. Just add James in there. How are you doing, James? I've got you bad, man. How are you keeping? I'm we're, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm actually just going to turn off my music there. Uh, Rob is there as well. Rob, show us the table. <laughs> He's got a table of stuff. I'm just going to make that a little bigger. So we're going to table all the stuff just in case. He has to grab one of the things there. Uh, Angela's joining us. Angela, there you're in the background. Hi, Angela. Hello. 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 Just to let you know, watch us on your phones because if you're watching the stream, it'll be behind. And by oh, yeah. the time I start the clock, and, and, and turn down the television. Or, or... Yeah, ma'am. A little bit. <laughs> ma'am, turn down the TV. What's that? <laughs> Turn Man. down the TV. Man. They can hear us. Now I said, turn on the TV. Turn it off. And she muted. And she muted herself as well. I can't turn down the noise. telly. I'm trying to. I didn't want any background noise. No, she, there you she's go. Done. Well done, Angela. It's like Thanks you're on the radio. You know so, you Angela, where, where are you? <laughs> where, where are you, Angela? I'm in Cork. You're in Cork. Rob, where are you? The dog. Douglas. Douglas. Oh, Douglas. Oh. Uh, Everybody's James, from Cork. James. What? Where, where, where are you? Douglas. The <laughs> Douglas showdown here. He's look. Douglas. He's Douglas as well. We've got two Douglas. Well, I'm I'm originally from Thanks the north side, but we won't talk about that. Oh, geez, we won't, we won't go that all. all right. Uh, so at first up is going to be Rob. So James is going to kick you out there for a second, and Angela, I'm going to kick you out there, and we're going to bring this up, and we're going to start this wheel. So make sure you're watching the phone now, Rob. Twenty yep. second challenge. Column, column made these, by the way. So I apologize if they're. If I have to name anything, I'm screwed. Oh, they're all names. Well, there's. Six of them are named something. They're easy enough. Nope. Get a tea towel. Oh, <laughs> he used to go to the kitchen. He wasn't prepped. I got it. There we go. That's good enough for me. 
That's the hey, most John. exercise I've done in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> <I'm great. laughs> he thought he brought everything from the kitchen, just not the tea towel. Uh, he's, he's panicked. Right, we're going to get James the next. James. There are we? you are, James. Right, you're up next. Okay. I'm trying to make you run around the house as well. <laughs> I, we, we really should have put in something like, get your neighbor's wheelie bin. Shows your boobs. Shows your boob. Shows your boobs, then. That's going to be on it next week. Right. Let's start this wheel. Yo, Bugs Life. There we go. There you go Bugs TV. Life. Good choice. Yeah, good solid choice. choice. How things have changed for you. How things uh, have changed for you, James. Oh, look at that. You used to have Die Hard before. Now you got a Bugs <laughs> Life. That's no it's, it's, That's the way it goes. <laughs> Animated movies are good movies. Good, uh, good movies. We let you off with that one, right? Yeah. Angela's going to be up next, so we'll kick James. Get Angela in. Hi, Angela. Hi, yeah. Right, you prepped. You prepped. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are. <laughs> right. Hopefully, it's a name something. It is. Name five counties in Ireland: Cork, Wicklow, Wexford, Tipperary, and Dublin. There we go. Nice and easy there. Ooh, this, this is very tight. One, oh. three, two, one, five, three, one, five, nine. Right, we're going to move on to our second round. So, John, uh, John O'Manny is just informed me that there's a penalty as United. Penalty for United. Oh, I'm just watching it here now. I'm late. I've a, a bad stream, dodgy stream. Um, right, so we're going to add Rob. Wait at least oh, he look. still hasn't recovered from his run to the kitchen. Um, <laughs> right, Rob, you ready? Yep. That was a confidence answer. Name five Rihanna songs. Well, SOS, uh, Umbrella. Ponderupo, uh, <laughs> Umbrella, um, Work. I'm friends with the monster. Uh, monster. Oh. There we go. We'll give you that. One on. Technically, I think that was that Eminem or uh, Shut up, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, James is back in, so kick you, bring you back in. You mentioned the dodgy stream, and a person by the name of Current24 TV said, PLE my channel, Don. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Are they trying to tout for Please, business? My channel, Don. Well done, Current24 TV, you weirdo. Um, so right, stop this wheel. Name five Mel Gibson movies. Lethal Weapon, Lethal Weapon 2, Lethal Weapon 3, Lethal Weapon 4, and Braveheart. Boom! There we go. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, he's happy. Well done, James. He did well there. <laughs> oh, it's the sequels are. Think of, if he didn't think of, of Leaky Weapon straight away there, he was screwed. Goose. Goose. Absolutely. <laughs> no, goose. that's Top Gun. Goose is in Top Gun. Run for one. <laughs> right. Uh, Boosh and James. And we're going to get Angela in. Right, I'll Angela. Here. Oh, that's all to play for. And stop. Name five supermarkets. Tesco, Super Value, John's, Roaches Stores, and Quinsworth. Roaches Stores. Oh, all of you. Roaches Stores. Amazing to see. St. Bernard's. I, I, know your, I know your mother still has a Roaches Stores bag, still in that bag of bags that's in the bag drawer. <laughs> I know she does. Roaches. Roaches Stores. Store. My God. Like, how quirky are you like? <laughs> right. Um, I Peggy think Peggy two rounds. <laughs> Peggy two rounds. <gasps> she won by seven. seven She's points. after winning by seven. Woo! Angela's won by seven. Uh, well done Lad, to you. All my preparation, well done, not a well single done. thing on the table was <laughs> called. Rob, you've, you're going to spend the next half an hour now putting away the rest of stuff. I have to clean all that up. <laughs> Just for Rob. That's my pizza <laughs> underneath. I can't get to it. <laughs> too much crap. You way too much crap. Rob, you're you're right, back to um, our last one before our holidays. We we get you back. And uh, James, if you want to do it next week again, you can as well. But Angela, you won your so, so. A, a, a free a, a, entry to whatever quiz you want. Let us know which one you want. Nice. Right. Right. 
Bye. Thanks, Dave. Thanks We're much. gonna keep you. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Uh, radio column yeah. and next, one minute. a lot of one questions. Minute. One, one minute. minute. One minute. Justice for Rob. Justice for pizza. Quinsworth. I. <laughs> I know. Quinsworth. Saint Bernard's. <laughs> Name five defunct supermarket chains. <laughs> I know it's like ridiculous. Costco. You know, <laughs> um, that was brilliant. Right, you know, that, was, that, was oh, right, that made my night. Quinsvert. Yeah. I thought that was uh, Angela there for a second. He used to work in the woolshed. What's it? I thought Angela was. I, I, I thought. So I justice for Rob. Forget your justice for Rob now. He's back next it's week. Not he didn't have a tea towel inside in his living room. Eat everything else. Uh, right, we we'll start here one minute. Where's Rob? Rob, come back there. <laughs> Thank, Rob, we have to start this quiz. Get back to your um, floor manager job there. Oh, that panel, penalty was convert, by the way. One off. Spoiler. Right. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Who's messaging me? Could you send or share the HP quiz? Marco and I would watch it after the quiz. No, no, it's not oh, for that's that's that the wrong answers. That could get out. It's, that could no, get it's out. never happening. Right, scoreboard's gone. Uh, well, next lot of questions. We might run a private viewing party where you come along to a venue and watch us. <laughs> and we sit in the corner like this. <laughs> you get to have a question and answer session with us afterwards and ask us any question you want. We'll even tell you about the, the how much the sweat did you uh, lose uh, in that? Right, 41. I'm going to fly through these. You got 15 to go, Pat. 15? Right? Yeah, I'll do 15 after that, then it gets us all the way to 70. All right, I thought we'd do 20 and 10. That's all right. Uh, which of the two sex determining chromosomes is present in both males and females? The X chromosome, the Y chromosome. James, uh, great crack lads. Thanks for having me on. Um, let's have a look. 50-50, it's 86% 14. The X from X. Number 42. Which of the following has the greater distance for its world record? The pole vault, the long jump. Naslow Panifex. I'd fly over to watch that. Sent you a text pass. My phone's over there something. Doing a quiz here, lads. <laughs> Jeez, that music got very loud. Did it? I can turn it down. Just a smidge. Right, and fifty-five percent to pole. Oh, look at that! Long jump. Uh, it's a correct answer. Forty-three. Paper is generally thought to have been invented in which country? China or Egypt? There's only one reason I put that question in there. I know, yeah. One China or Egypt. Just asking, no worries. That is a uh, Henrik. <laughs> Cullum, turns out there was actually a tea towel in his living room and he never spotted it. Well, uh, congratulations. We, we, we've now got you on the path to a healthier lifestyle. It was a couch to 5K. <laughs> a couch to 5K. Tay towel. A couch to 5K towels. Uh, 56% said China. That's the correct answer. 44. Yeah. Tallahassee is the capital of which American state? Texas, Florida, Georgia, or Kansas? I've just been sent a picture of a Rocha's stores bag. <gasps> hey, that's something they got off value. More choice. Um, probably 
Um, forty-five percent said Florida or Florida, as Cullum likes to call it. And uh, forty-five. I'm just one stomach flew away from my goal weight. Is a quote from which movie? The Devil Wears Prada, Bride Wars, Mamma Mia, or Zoolander. That thing is an antique. It stinks. And... Oop. I nearly closed on the game. Uh, that wouldn't be good. 66% Devil Wears Prada is the correct answer. 46. Penalty again. I, I, I'm I'm on a dodgy stream, John, so. Watch it later. Uh, we're no strangers to love. You know the. By <laughs> And so do I. <laughs> Complete the Rick Astley lyric. Oh, I nearly said it. <laughs> Did you what? We didn't get 42 or 43. Emma Wall. What? Emma, do a quick refresh on your uh, device. That was weird. Oh. We're all strangers to love. You know the... And so do I. <laughs> Is it time, rules, score, game? We're no strangers to love. You know the time, and so do I. Do I. You know the score. You know the game. Uh, I think you, could you get away with doing the whole Kylie Rick Astley thing without getting flagged? Probably could if I spit it up properly. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to do it in the background. Uh. Rick rolled. You know the rules, and so do I. Did you know if you slow down, well, no, if you change the pitch down for uh, Kylie Minogue, she sounds like Rick Astley. And if you pitch up Rick Astley, he sounds like Kylie Minogue. How fast do you think you can do it? Um, in the next round. We try it and see if we can do it in the next round. So, where are we going to? I'm going to 455? No, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 48, right? Uh, cool original, tangy cheese, and chili heat wave are flavors of which brand of snack? Um, Doritos, Walkers, Pringles. Uh, answers are in. Oh, 99%. <sighs> There's always one. Yeah. It is Doritos, of course. 49. In the 1980s, which product was advertised with the slogan, One slice is never enough? Romantica, Vianetta. <laughs> Uh, I wonder how far down I'd have to go. And, uh... <laughs> You've a mute button, Colum. I know, but my sneezes are funny. <laughs> the only funny thing about you. 87%. That's rough. I know, wasn't it? Your face is the only funny thing. Yeah, about yeah come on. Well done. Great comeback. Yeah. Represent uh, being at a romantic uh, was more early 90s, was it? 50. Olfaction is another word for which sense? Olfaction. Taste, sight, smell. Bless you, everybody's saying bless you. 
Mine skipped question 47. No, no, 47. I think it went... I think it might have skipped 47 for everybody. For some reason, it just jumped. Can you just give a quick check column on that? Just see what Which? happens. Just see what question 47 is, because it skipped it, I think. That uh, happened last week as well. Yeah, it skipped it. It skipped another question. Yeah, no, it, must have, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh. It must have to do with a special character. There might be a character in there that's after... Like Maybe. 47, you said it, it. Yeah, 47. If you just jump in the background there and see what it is. Uh, 74% smell is the correct answer. Just for people who are wondering, 47 did skip. It was a it was a darts question. Another darts question. It was like, what is the color of... What no, was that? 42 and 43. Yeah, I saw that, Emma. Um, if you could just do a refresh again, as I said. Uh, did you get 47? Did you get 47? No, 47 didn't go to anybody. Channing Tatum is his real name. True or false, Channing Tatum is his real name. Who's real name? Channing Tatum. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Nah, never heard of him. Is that his real name now? And 85% have said true. It is true. 52. In 1957, which Japanese company released the world's first entirely electric compact calculator? Yamaha, Casio, Seiko. Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff. Put those guns away, Colum. I know, it's on there. I was scratching my arm. Blindius. Uh, 93% people with Casio. Well done. 53. What type of sauce is used in the dish Eggs Benedict? Garlic butter, jalapeno ranch, pesto or hollandaise? Oh my god, I see him again. 99%. I told you, no air horn tonight. None. No soup for you. Um, 54. Mount Olympus is the highest mountain in which European country? <laughs> Olympus. Spain, Italy, Portugal, Greece. Fergal Collins is after getting his messages from all the talk from earlier on. He's like saying to John O'Manny, you're drunk. Um, I'm, I'm going to download the crowd activity there just as I was checking. There was no special characters in that. And it was it was cleaned as well into a CVS file. So there could be no special characters carried over. So I don't understand why it went wrong. No, might have been literally uh, something with the browser. Greece, I tried to help you out. Olymp Olympus. 55. What is the theme song to Baywatch? Opening lyrics. Some people stand in the darkness, afraid to step into the light. It had a, it had a name. Was it, I'll be ready, don't you worry, I'm always here. Sure, it's in my uh, my catalogue's Baywatch theme. Uh, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up! Don't touch anything. What are you doing? Are you checking the wrong answer? You move on, Colum. Hold on. Oh yeah, no, no. The actual name. The, this is where people get confused. It is known by its nickname, which is the thing in brackets called I'll Be Ready. But the actual name of the song is I'm Always Here. That's the name of the song? Yeah. So it's I'm Always Here, I'll Be Ready. 
I'm Always Here, known, also sometimes known as I'll Be Ready, is a song by Jimmy Jameson and is the theme song to the 1990s hit TV series Baywatch and in 1991 for all seasons of the episodes from September 23rd, 2001 to 2001. Uh, it was season one's Pizza Terrors, Save Me. Right, so I'm Always Here is the correct answer. There you go, right, it was 55. You're now all cursing, Cullum. But we're going to, have to show you the scoreboard and let's have a look. Boop, 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 boop. Quizlamic State uh, still well ahead. Shane Weldon back up into second. Team Actimal. Welcome. You're back in, you're in the third position. I'm going to see where everybody else is here. Um, I'm going to go into my crowd rankings, see if I can find out where people are. Fourth position, who have we got? Uh, Eleanor Regan dropped out of the top three. Uh, Ken Dodd's dad's dog's dead. Um, you are in eighth. You've got two teams. Uh, Michelle Moriarty, you're in ninth. Quiston Quarantino, David Walsh, T Dog, Sick Boy, the Goonies are in thirteenth. Um, just so you know as well, Sunblock in the in the mid noughties released a version of it as well. Remember the the kind of it was a kind of a housey trancy version of it that was called I'll Be Ready. That was very poor. What was that song in general? Yeah, but it brought it back, didn't it? We were low play, but um, they watch again. Uh, let's see if I can drop this now. Oh, maybe let's see if I can. Let's go, I'm just going to go higher, higher. No, oh my God. No, it's the wrong song. You're choosing the wrong song. It wasn't locomotion. It was 100%. I know. Hold up. There you go. One more. Uh, I'll try Rick Astley and speed him up. Uh, that one definitely what... sounds like him doing Kylie Minogue. Yeah. And so then we go into Rick Astley and we'll put him upwards. Let's see what happens. That's Kylie Minogue. Yeah. It does sound the exactly like Kylie Minogue. Let's be honest about it. Um, and then we're now get flagged. We we'll say it's for educational purposes. Um, if everyone no, can just go, yes, sir, uh, that's correct, sir, or something like that, or that is very my, informative. Give me two minutes to fix it. No problems, Jimmy G. Lads, give me two minutes. The vast, the vast, yeah, yeah, yeah. tackle. Um, uh, crack the wine open after round one, Laszlo Panifex. Well done. Not enough love for Vianetta in here. Uh, that's coming from my thoughts are below. Right. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm dancing in my chair right now. That's a Moira already. <laughs> Will this be on the test? Maybe. Uh, can't believe Rick Astley and Baywatch are the only two music questions we got right. Well, that just means you've got great taste in music. So well done, Brian Power. We wish to subscribe to your Spotify playlists. Um, right, we got 15 questions left. We'll have this all done by ah. ten thirty. Colin, ah. hop in the chat now. Do you want to hop in a chat there and, and let me know what you think if we have uh, prize wise? We do. Um, sorry, I, I I forgot what it was. It's all good. Uh, Doors down. He's calling if it keeps going like this, we'll only be able to give out a prize for uh, first. Yeah, but sure, look, that's the way things go. I think we'll have an old pop again once this, once it starts getting darker outside and once things start coming back to normal. Uh, I think we'll, we'll keep it going. We'll advertise out and we'll try and get some new players involved as well. And hopefully 
our good gang of uh, followers here as well will be able to get us a few more people engaged by letting by sharing out the events when they start popping up again. Yeah. Um... We just need a new approach. We just need a new approach and we need to get some new faces in because what happens is that sometimes people do 10 quizzes and then they go, oh my God, I can't do any more quizzes. And they just need a break for a while as well as we do. So um, when the sun is nice outside, people are sitting on their deck and they don't want to be answering questions. They want to be drinking a nice pina colada made of rum, listening to some Rick Astley and Kylie Minogue while dreaming of holidays in Mount Olympus in Greece. After and then say to themselves, I think we'll watch Oceans 8. And then they think to themselves, No, Cullum said that was a terrible film. I won't watch it. And that's 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 me who saved you from that. Just remember, I saved you from it. Right. Uh 20 past one minute. We're gonna go on. Ready to go, lads. Thanks. No problem, Jimmy G. Ken, uh, Taco Man Eternal says, remember when Kenya made a song about Jesus? I, I'll give you another thing. He made a whole album about it last year. Uh, I know a few people who be do them when they have better Wi-Fi. But he spent Me? a million pounds on Operation Deep Scan 2 looking for Jesus, and he didn't find him, just so you know. He didn't find Jesus yet. Right, get rid of this scoreboard. There you go, Rob. Look at the phones, 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 look at the phones. Here we go. This is going to pop up fast because it's not on a new page. 56 coming up. Ready? Berlin's 1986 hit single Take My Breath Away was a love theme to which film from the same year? So 1986 film and 19... Uh, was it... Had a hit in it from... Was it Top Gun, Mannequin or An Officer and a Gentleman? What is this? A top Gun quiz? We've mentioned it twice. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Strangely enough, it doesn't seem like the kind of song that you'd have in that film, but evidently it made it in there. Can't wait for, uh, can't wait for Top Gun. Yeah. Two. Ah, uh, I saw the trailer in the IMAX and I nearly lost my life. I was born that year. How am I supposed to guess that? Ashling Desmond. If you you know Top Gun can be watched anytime. It doesn't just have to be watched the year it comes out. Get over Top here. Gun. Seven years ago. Ashling, get on. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Hold on. 57. What colour are the houses in the standard game of Monopoly? Green or red? Were you, were you shouting at me to look at the PM or were you just telling me to get on and do the next question? Oh, no, no. But the PM has prizes. But, but you you were also telling me just move it on, were you? Oh, yeah. Or just leave Ashley alone. I don't know which one you were going for. Kind of on, like that. You got it in one. It was like, look at your private message, move on, and leave Ashley alone. That's right. what that meant. Exactly. Know each other too well. 70% green. Right answer. Yeah. The hotels are red, aren't they? Don't know. Yeah. 58. They're blue. Uh, oh, red. Get out of it. Liar. 58. Yeah, get over yourself, Ashley. Uh, what two-digit number goes after a plus sign to give the country calling code of the United Kingdom? So if you're ringing the United Kingdom, what are you putting at the end of it? This is easy. Is it two two five zero one four four three five three? Thanks, Pat. Poor me. Don't be getting look. Don't be looking for sympathy off me at all now. <laughs> it's where he comes down in there like a ton of bricks. Pat, leave it alone. Mammy Pat, there. Memoria, you touch your mouth there now. Get out the wooden spoon. I get out the wooden spoon. Hold on, let's check these drawers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that lad has a wooden spoon sitting on a table at home waiting for to be called out. <laughs> I have it. Um, Shite. Ninety nine. Ah! Ireland's the last one. Come on. Good tonight. Got so close about five times. True or false, pennies slash Primark is an Irish brand. True. False. Story. Quinsworth. <laughs> and we'll never let you know, know that. <laughs> Q 
Winsworth. It was funny though. Brilliant. Outstanding. 59% said true. 41% said false. It is true. Headquarters in Dublin. They have about, I think it's like 192 stores in England alone. Ridiculous. Did they open up in Australia? Uh, yes, they did open up in Australia and they're opening up, I think, this year in um, in, in Poland and, 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 and a couple of those places as well. I think Poland and the Czech Republic, because there's so many people over here send stuff back. They have nine places in the United States. I, no, I, they are opening in Australia, but they, I don't think they're open yet. But I think they're they're on their way. Uh, in 2016, Boating Mac Boldface topped the public vote when asked to name a new polar research ship. Which famous person was this ship eventually named after? It went against popular opinion. I think it should have been called Boating Mac Boldface. And if you ask the public to name it, you name it that. John Snow, Elton John, Prince Harry, or David Attenborough. John Snow, not the actual... Um, character but the the news presenter by the way slowly teaching the english that it's called pennies not primark too supposedly it can't be called pennies outside of ireland because of an american company called jc pennies but they don't use the name in europe they only use it in the us but their patent is exactly the same as mcdonald's and your man from supermax more or less elbow dropped mcdonald's out of europe like so 89% got David Attenborough and that's the right answer so I'm wondering if they could start renaming all the other stores in England pennies um, Angela Crowley has come back and just realised she goes I really should have said Little and Aldi she goes I was trying to think of what was in Wilton walking around um, what's in Wilton Quinsworth my what god was, Angela showing your age what was the name of the card shop that did the magazine they're still there but they're down in the end by uh, Highburger now or High Cafe, excuse me. They don't call it High Burger anymore. Oh, they're, that, that's Hallmark now. Callahan's. Oh, Callahan's. Is it a Hallmark shop now? I think it's a Hallmark now. Ah, they're gone. 61. In which borough of New York City would you find both Times Square and Central Park? Queens, Manhattan or Brooklyn? Uh, Bart Simpson's because she calls it Primark all the time. Wil she only teaches bad things over here. Wilton, Wilton is gone now. Was it, Col was it Coleman's uh, car place? That's gone. They used to have it down by the around the corner from the car shop, down by the barbers. Sweet car you know, place. Half the people here don't know what we're on about. 95% <laughs> Manhattan is the right answer. Uh, 62. Uh, the packaging of which food product features an image of the Matterhorn Mountain with the shape of a bear hidden in it? We we blew our minds and we found out about the bear, didn't it? Yes. Milka, Toblerone, or Linden. Spark Boy, I know the two of you are a bad influence on my 10-year-old son, especially when he wants to watch Baywatch all weekend. Thank God Top Gun is now his preferred watching based on the answers on the quiz. Just so you know, the first episode, the yeah. first episode. No, God, no. There's um, there's boobs. Well, not in, like if you buy the DVD, it's in it. Now, I brought up the yeah. Toblerone logo, right? So if you want, I'll share my screen with you so we can prove to people that there is a bear Close hidden. Close your horn tab. Oh, God. There you go. Yeah. When you're sharing yours, there we go. Oh no, there we go. So yeah, there you go. It's a bear hidden in the mountain. See, there's his leg, there's his back leg, his belly, his arms, his head. That's his head. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we won the Baywatch DVDs from you in the woodshed. You did. <laughs> did you watch them, Peter? As Henrik, yeah. He See, look at people now. They're like bear. Mind blown. Mind See, blown. There you go. people are never like, what? You'll never look at a Toblerone the same again. You'll be like, See the bear? That'll be your party trick when someone brings out a yeah. Toblerone. You'll be like, Here, let me show you there something that no one else knows. This is just freaky. 63. 
In uh, the painting, The Scream by Edvard Munch is uh, this main subject standing on a railway track, a bridge, or a hill. There you go. Bart is saying that Tobin used to be cyndical when it first came out, but he got sued by Cadbury. I think it was for some reason. I have to check that out now. I thought it was like that because of the mountains. Mountains. That's what I thought too. You're making stuff up. I now. wouldn't believe I wouldn't believe Bart no more as far as they draw him. Eighty-two percent said bridge. Correct. Sixty-four. The 2012 film Zero Dark Thirty dramatized the search for which real life person? Hold on, I don't. Up, 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 up. It's too late. No, uh, I told him. I told you not to press it. I on said, my fingers on my fingers on the button as soon as you did, and you give out to me before not press it quick enough. I deleted the second second answer. There you go, 100 percent there, everybody. I deleted the second answer. I said whoop whoop whoop. Too late. You read out the whole question. I'm ready to press the button. I'm taking it. <laughs> it's the air cell thing all over again. It's air cell and Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... Oh, now it's back to Osama bin Laden gave us the horn. Well done. Um, right. Uh, yes, the correct answer is Osama bin Laden. Well done, everybody. Osama bin Ersa. Uh, 65. What type of wine is normally used to make sangria? Red or I'm just going to go in there now and make sure that there's two answers. I'm uh, looking I'm gonna at We're going to hold up a second. A second ago. I'm just give me two seconds there now just to be sure. Just move it on, will you? Move it on. Just move it on. Come on. It's there. I know it's there. And I'm looking at them. I don't know. I don't know. Red, white. Seamus. Oh, can't be saying that stuff. Um, Walter Pandini, look what the cat dragged in. You're late. 91%. I hope you enjoyed your match. Red is the right uh, answer. Red is the right answer. 66. 66. Whose album White Leather spent almost three consecutive years in the UK top 100 album charts that was among the top 10 best selling albums of the year in both 2000 and 2001? So, Every White Leather household had this it was issued in the mail to every household in Ireland the government gave it away for free was it Damien Rice Katie Tunstall David Gray or Jamie Collum come on oh the dog is up 87% David Gray. Show us the dog. You know that's going to happen here now. Show us the dog. The dog got a haircut. There we go. Oh. <gasps> Looking well. It's a different dog. Yeah. The, do the dog's been put in a diet. The groomer goes, the dog's too fat. <laughs> do you think he was talking to you sub subliminally or? Um, the woman. Hey, doggy. Show us the dogs here, Rob. Hey, doggy. We knew the dog. Oh, yeah. Cockapoo, cockapoo? Yeah. don't ever get a cockapoo ever ever nobody at uh, 67 why uh mentally unstable with a title referring to the year of the singer's birth the album 1989 won a 2016 grammy award for album of the year for which singer just gonna have a quick look there. One, two, three, four answers. There you go. Stop being a dick now and just move on. It's Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Adele, and Carly Rae Jepsen. Pick one of those. 
PJ Hearn, tell uh, tell Quiva baby asleep, or dog tell asleep. Tell baby asleep, dog asleep, and kebab on the way. Jesus, oh, I love kebab. Oh, the life, PJ, you're living the life. <laughs> My dog spent 10 minutes back at some sausages the other day. I think you remember you saying that. Yeah, mine went back in his own shadow. Not really. Um, 77% Taylor Swift. They were on right the answer. 68. They were on the ground for her to eat. In oh. Harry Potter novels, the Hogwarts Express is a train that takes students to Hogwarts from which real life London train station? God almighty, I hope this is right. Paddington, Waterloo, King's Cross, Euston. The next stop is Paddington. The next stop is Waterloo. The train arriving at station at, at platform 5A is the King's Cross bound train. 86% King's Cross. Robert Amara saying, I still haven't moved the stuff off my pizza. 86% got it right. You can eat move the pizza. Eat the pizza. Eat the stuff first and then eat the pizza. 69. Which of the following can store more digital information? Shh. Warner's listening. A megabyte, a gigabyte. It's right. Thank you, Podrick. Column, I'd be happy to do a Harry Potter question just for the uh, quiz, just for the fun of it now at this stage. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do a whole quiz on it, are we? Oh, God, yeah. It's I'm written over. for us. It's written. Yeah, I'm I, over too. I just don't care anymore. You probably have spotted. <laughs> I you don't do care. 92% gigabyte. gigabyte. Correct answer. Well done. Last question, ladies and gentlemen. Calamari is a culinary name for which animal? So if you were to eat calamari, what animal did it uh, come from? Squids, crocodiles, or prawns? And just get note, I've got a little uh, text document here right now with the prize winners. Oh, that's going the wrong way there. Why did it open up there? What? I opened up the quiz prizes. I have a list of all the people who won prizes. Oh, yeah, elder screen. And uh, I had it open there today. That's why. Nine, oh, the only 100% we got was because Cullum gave you one answer. Someone thinks calamari comes from a prawn, but there we go. <sighs> right. Let's get ourselves some results. Ooh. Quit. Not doubting them at all. Quizlamic State, top of the board. Shane Weldon, you're in second. And Eleanor Regan, you in third. Only 24 points behind Shane. Well done, Shane. And um, Quizlamic State, I don't know who you, with your real name. Eleanor they Regan, I'm going to send you money again tomorrow. Or now, if I can. You can uh, tell them the, the prizes if you want to. Yeah, so not much money in the kitty. Uh, 40 euro Islamic State Shane Weldon you're getting 20 bucks and Ellen O'Regan you're getting yourself 15 bucks uh, so well done to you I will contact you or just send it on to you Shane Weldon thanks man uh, well done Shane um, Wes O'Brien enjoy the holiday lads funniest quiz ever we're not taking holiday till next uh, week the week after the week after the 1st of July we'll be on our holiday so there is a quiz next Friday and there's two quizzes on the next this Sunday and next Sunday and we will be taking our holidays uh, Tuesday week for when we do the uh, Make a Wish Foundation quiz. So that'll be the free quiz on that Tuesday. It'll be the last day in June, and then we're going to take uh, nine days in July, and we're going to be back hopefully together in a. Um... So Shane Weldon says, "Give the twenty euros to the next charity." Good man, thank you very much. You're brilliant. Um, so, Shane was in second, and donate. Uh, first, got themselves, was it? What did I say? 40? No. Kate who please don't uh, make it sound like that we're, we're going away for ages. We're just taking a week. That's all. We're just not doing quizzes for one weekend. 
Uh, Claire, th you're welcome. Thank you very much for doing the quiz, Kate. We will. We're not. We're here still next Friday. Don't freak out. We shouldn't have told people this week. That obviously, we're not here next week. Oh, only we just want to give it a heads up. Um, and then O'Reilly kept in the top twenty at Laszlo Panaflex. Go one. She's blow. She's blow she's keeping you going there. She's blowing the um. She's waving the old Laszlo Panaflex flag. I nearly said blowing the Panaflex horn. <laughs> the old Panaflex trumpet. Right oh, here. The hay fever in my eyes. Great quiz again. See you Sunday. Thanks, Jimmy G. Uh, Karina, thank you. Audrey, you. you're 125th. Thanks, lads. Tips, cap. Stick up the old poster again there for the old... Uh... I am just loading that in there just to make sure it's up. And turn on this. Press this button. Put this up here. And... Here, there, we go. there you go. Uh, Pat and Gums, big snack quiz. I will let you know. The Liverpool game won't be finished till about quarter to nine. We won't go live until half past nine. I'll take the last 15 minutes. And so we, we, we won't go live till half past eight. So we won't be starting till half past eight to give more chance for Pat to watch as much as possible. That's um, all right. If I can watch it in the background, it might be boring out. Um, But I'll do my best. We'll, we'll go live, the usual stuff. If I have to sit here, I will. Rick was uh, had, uh, had fun at the halftime show. See you Sunday. Good. Thanks for coming on, Rob. Put away all that stuff now. <laughs> or just leave nope. it there till next Friday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> leave it there till next Friday. Move the orange, though. <laughs> and let's see what's good. It might be devastating, Pat. Shh. Shh. Everton win, Pat. You don't need to watch it. Shh. Quiet, everyone. Um, Radio, thank you very much for joining us. We know it's quiet, but we appreciate it so much. For joining us uh when you have a night off um so what we will do is run in there roll the credits thank you very much um everybody who joined us uh angela and james and rob at the halftime show and we'll see you then see you sunday bye bye guys Bye.